just come out of a meeting, maybe briefly, if you just share with us what the meeting was all about. Yes, we, we, we are coming out from a meeting with the girls and the network association as well as us also coming in from the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Arts and Recreation. As we all know, our girls have been doing so well during this world tournament. We, we, we came here and we have been playing with the 16 best teams uh, in the world and um, even though today the girls were, 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 were not successful against Malawi, we are still in, in the game and we will be proceeding tomorrow to, to be playing most probably with, with Jamaica and we are also hoping to win and then we proceed to then play in the, in the final games and our girls are in, in good shape and have moved from, from uh, the 14th position and now we are able to play for the for the seventh and eighth position and then in the next game the game will play for the fifth and sixth position which which is something that is really really awesome for, for us as Zimbabwe. So we have been discussing with the girls and looking into issues of, of also incentivizing them and um, the government are working together with the Native Association we have been discussing on the appropriate incentives that we can provide for our gems and we have uh, come up with uh, something that we think is, is really good. We have the funds that have been coming in from, from government and we also have some funds that have come in also from the monies that have been fundraised by the Netball Association and we have agreed that the girls will be getting their allowances now and uh, they will be getting their allowances in, in the form of uh, US dollars and uh, we will also be giving them uh, some part of their allowances in, in Zimbabwe dollars so that they can also be able to uh, budget and um, see the best ways of using their, their, their incentives. And we have also agreed, you know, you know, you know, as, as, as leaders who are also here in Liverpool, we've talked to the girls and we've said, when we go back home, we also really need to make sure that the girls are also recognized further than uh, what has happened today in, in, in Liverpool. The girls were also saying that because, you know, these are not uh, school children anymore. They are, they are young women, honestly, but they have their own families. Some of them are married, some of them are single mothers, but still um, they are family people. And they, we were thinking that when we go back home, we will need to also present some of their issues to, 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 to the president. When we go to see the president, when we go to present the girls at State House after such an awesome win, we are hoping that the president will also consider that the girls have done so well. And um, I'm sure that the president being uh, the president, the listening president that he is, and as a president who also believes in, in, in empowering the women, especially the young women, I am sure he is going to make sure that the girls are also, you know, you know, you know, you know recognized uh, appropriately. So what we have done is the girls are going to be, you know, coming up with, you know, what they think is appropriate for them in a reasonable way, of course, and we will be raising those issues with the highest office uh, as soon as we, we get the home. But on the issue of allowances, the girls are happy. We are also happy that, you know, all the monies that we are waiting for to come from government and all the monies that we are also waiting for in the, in, the, in the accounts that are back home in Zimbabwe from our well wishers, all those monies that have been uh, pledged um, are now reflecting in the accounts back home. And that's the reason why we have also decided that for that money, from the fundraised accounts, that money that is in, in, in Zimbabwean dollars should just go to the girls in Zimbabwean dollars because we cannot convert it to to US dollars. As you know, in Zimbabwe right now, US dollars are no longer, you know, local tank. So that's the reason why they'll be getting the other money is is Zimbabwean dollars. And the money that is here with us now in Liverpool is the one that they will be getting in foreign currency. A lot of Zimbabweans around the world have expressed uh, concern over the delay of the allowances. Is there any reason for the delay? 
No, no, not really. No, no, not any, any, any reason that might worry us. But the only reason is having to transfer the monies from Zimbabwe to here using uh, foreign currency accounts. We, it has been taking uh, three or four days. We had the first batch of money coming in last week, and yeah, um, our team from the embassy brought it down on Monday. Yeah. So then the second batch of money is just coming, and the embassy has confirmed that they will be coming down with the money maybe tomorrow morning. So besides that, you know, there was nothing really, you know, you know besides, you know, you know, we have to wait for the transactions between banks, you know, we have to transfer the money from Zimbabwe. And as you know, we have these issues with, with England when Zimbabwe is under sanctions. So that's the reason why money that is transferred for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to, uh, to our embassies take about three or four days. But that's about all. Okay, thank you for Besides that. Besides the bonuses and allowances, what are some of the issues that the girls have raised? Mm, no, I must say that these girls, you know, these girls are, are a special breed. Besides believing that they are doing this for themselves as, as, as world sports persons, they want to make sure that they expose their talents, that, you know, you know, they are out there and, you know, you know, scouts can come and scout for their talent so that they are also able to play. You know, for other international teams, that's the main concern really, that they are also hoping they are, they are actually pleading to, to, to people out there, to sporting associations out there, whether outside of Zimbabwe or, you know, you know here in Europe, to just, you know, look at the raw talent that they have and also be willing to come and, you know, sign them up so that they can play also for, for, for other teams. And they are also wishing that when we go back home, they they have said that they have done this with their whole hearts. They have done this to be the role models for for all the girls that are in Zimbabwe. Each girl who has ever dreamed of you know you know taking netball as a serious sport, taking netball as a sport that can take someone to the best platforms where someone can be able to represent their country. But then they are also saying that now that they have done this and they've started on this journey. They are also they are also appealing to us as government to go with them all the way, to be with them and be supportive of them in in, in, in all forms. Because even after this World Cup, as we go back home, we'll still be going. Soon after we go back home, they will be going for the Africa Championships. So they were also telling us that you know if this doesn't need to end with the World Cup. They need support from now going forward. So that we just don't come here to the World Cup and then we go home and all these challenges just forgotten. And you know, unfortunately, honestly, I just to protect the girls, I cannot disclose because you know, you know, the girls are in a foreign country, they don't want to be mad, so so we will protect that for for them. Uh, you can you can check with them if they want to discuss that with you, but we have assured them that we will not be you know, discussing their amounts. In terms of support, um, there is information that one of the corporates here in the UK uh, volunteered to pay for them for spa and uh, for gym, like other countries are getting, and this offer was declined by management. Can you uh, tell us the position, please? No, I haven't heard about that because even even if we had had such sponsorship, it also would have been proper for it to be coming through the right channels. Uh, if if the sponsor maybe had just spoken to to anyone else, maybe unofficially, maybe that could have happened. But officially, I haven't heard anything about that kind of sponsorship. Okay, thank you. And I'm sure the Netball Association also has not been, been offered that sponsorship officially because uh, maybe that person was just talking about it as a discussion without, you know, formal engagement. But any sponsor who wants to sponsor the girls in any form, we are very willing for everyone to come on board to make sure that the girls get all the sponsorship that they can get. But still it has to be done properly using the proper procedures so that you know, we don't have 
we don't have people randomly just coming in to say we are sponsoring, we are, we are giving gifts, we are doing this. Sometimes it, it gets out of hand, and that's what we've also been trying to, to control. Uh, the potential sponsor said he spoke to the team spokesperson who went to speak to the team management and he came back and said it was declined. I'm not sure. There, there's, but, but, but honestly, Eugene, the spokesperson is not the, it's not the Native Association president, you see. So the proper, the proper channel would be for, for the potential sponsor to come and engage the, the president of the Native Association. And the president of the Native Association will in turn also discuss the, the proposal with the ministry. And normally, if it's a good proposal, we will never decline any any help that we can get for the guys. But but if if they were just discussing, you know, you know, like you know, you know if they were having drinks, we will we not consider uh, that as uh, as formal engagement. Thank you. I'm just a zoo. Are you a? Are you a?